Hello everyone, this is a practical demonstration of how to pull emails from Google Maps using the Creative Bear Text Scraper tool. Now, Google Maps, if you've ever looked at locations of various places in the world, you can use it to look up different countries, different places, and to look up different businesses and different locations of those businesses. Now, to get Google Maps running, you'll want to make sure you have a registered version of the software as it is necessary to run the Scraper tool. Then we're going to name a project. Now this is going to be a little bit different. So let's say I want to do fitness. Or I want to do something fitness center. We're going to use a special feature here called footprints. So I'm going to use one keyword per line. Then I'm going to go here. And I'm going to add a footprint. I'm going to load it from a file. Now you might be asking what are footprints and why do we use them? First of all, footprints are only for Google Maps searches. So if you're doing any other type of search, please do not use footprints. That being said, footprints, as we can take a look here, are different addresses. And this is used by Google Maps so that we can see if, for example, you search a fitness center, a beauty salon, a cryptocurrency, it'll align that with all of these different addresses. That way, when you search the city, you're getting everything that's represented of that search. Basically, we're tying the keyword to all of these addresses here. To all these zip codes here, rather. And by doing that, we can get what's represented. So if we were searching just Chicago for gym centers, we only get however many there because there's a lot of local businesses so what we want to do is go ahead and open up and load all these different sources make sure that's done and these are going to be different zip codes as we can see here for PA for Ohio for New York for all the different zip codes in the United States and we want to do that through a text file line by line that way we make sure that we have everything and that we're ready to go. So first I'm going to load all of this here and then once that is loaded up we're going to go ahead and make sure that we can search through Google Maps. So we're going to give this a second here to load all the footprint data which again is aligning our keyword with all of these different zip codes and by doing that we can get a search that's representative of the business locations in that respective area. We can find all the gyms in Chicago, we can find all the beauty salons in London, etc. So we're going to go ahead and let this go through. Now we can see our footprint data is loaded and I recommend again putting zip codes you can get this off the internet in a text file based on the city you want to and the state you want to take a look at so we're going to hit ok here now that that's finished loading we're going to hit more settings and again we'll just make sure we have some proxies to avoid ip address bans we're going to make sure we have the speed settings to get the amount of keywords we want and to get the amount of emails we want as well. We're going to make sure we have our capture in here to make things run smoothly. Then we're going to go to search engines and dictionaries and go to Google Map and make sure that's populated in the source list. And with Google Maps we can also drill down by country and if you're in the United States or the UK we can even drill down by city here. So we're going to get fitness in Dallas. So I'm going to hit save and close. I'm going to add a footprint here. I'm just going to type in fitness, Google Maps. We're going to hit OK, and then we're going to go ahead and start this. And we can see, since visible mode is on, what it's doing, and it's going to start pulling results from Google Maps. So we're going to start looking at fitness centers, gyms, all those type of things in the Dallas area. And 
we can see it's working. It's going through different parts of Google Maps, trying to find the correct emails. Now that the software has pulled some results, we're going to go ahead and stop it so that we can get the information in an Excel sheet. So now we can see the searching is stopped, and we're going to go ahead and hit export. We can see Fitness Center with today's date, 69.csv. And to take a look at this, we can either type .csv in the search engine, or we can go to whatever directory it's saved at for scraping. We can go here, where it's saved. We can take a look at Fitness Centers for 69, and click on the Excel file, and you can use any program to open up .csvs as well. So we're going to give that a minute to open up here. And we can see our fitness results. You can use this if you're an individual to increase your list or to expand your business or for even part different partnerships or if you're a corporation to talk to people on Instagram, Twitter, reach out to them on the phone, email them, and also check out their website. Thank you very much for watching this demonstration using the niche fitness in Google Maps, adding footprints, and then taking a look at the Dallas area using the Creative Bear email scraper tool.